salivating. Honorable Farah Malim, thank you, sir. <laughs> the, the issues that we are dealing with in our country yeah. needs some level of seriousness. And you know, the most interesting thing, we have precedent. We have cases where Kenyans and Kenyan organizations, and like uh, my brother Farah is saying, where international organizations have always been called when we had this. Yeah. And it worked. So when you are averagely intelligent and reasonably observing or observable, what do you see? What you see is that we are basically on our own. Mm. And then what are we engaged in? I want to come back to the issue you've raised. We are engaged in at throwing tantrums at Uhuru Kenyatta and how he stole every single... I have had my friends and brothers, sister here, saying that, oh, Uhuru should not say anything. From the first weekend after Uhuru handed over power to William Ruto, the allegations, the statements, how he stole... First of all, I remember uh, Deputy President Gashagwa said Uhuru had stolen $26 billion. And Trevor, I remember I came to this show and I said, please, Deputy President, can you just go to DCI, report that Uhuru has stolen 26 billion, where he stole it, how he stole it, you have the evidence, report the case. Go and report to ESCC. The same story every time this issue has come up. And my honest observation is very simple. <coughs> yes, I agree Uhuru should not engage comment or even suggest what his political situation is. If he decides to say he's in Azimio, that's his problem. But this notion that every weekend, the story is about how Uhuru stole this money, how Uhuru took the money and went and did whatever with it. But you see, the facts are sanitized. Who was Uhuru's deputy president? It was honorable the president, William Ruto, all right? When did the Eurobond come during that time? What were the, the scandals that brought out the stealing of public money? All the dams, the Kimwarer, the Aror, all these things are related. And yet somehow I see my colleagues and friends screaming at Uhuru, yes, I would like Uhuru to keep quiet. I would love him to sit down and retire peacefully. But the reality is that Uhuru cannot be the Achilles heel. Uhuru cannot be the reason why our country is in the mess it is in. He's part of it, but he's not completely all of it. Okay. My argument is there are many people who are in KK Alliance. There are many of us who are in uh, uh, Kenya, uh, Nini, um, Kenya Kwanzaa who have participated in making our country rich and get to the stage where it is. This blame game, according to me, has to reach a stage where you stop. Can you imagine if every governor in Kenya today, once he, re he, he dethrones a sitting governor, or once the sitting governor retires after his 10 years, that all the governor does from Monday to Monday is talk about how this governor, yes, he misappropriated funds, yes, he mismanaged this county, yes, everything. When you are asking the current governor, my brother, yes, your funds in, the, in your CRF account, why are uh, um, things not being done? Why are you not starting projects? For for example, we are having a Lino Reigns. Why are you not organizing a team in a small way? Yeah. Oh, you know the previous governor never set up an emergency fund. The previous governor is the one who had a problem with how we are... The country will become ungovernable. Okay. So yes, I agree that Uhuru needs to know that what he says and how he says it is weighty. Yeah. Because he's a former president and he has a following. Yeah. But I also would like to tell my brothers on the other side, Stop beating a dead horse. Okay. Stop waking up every morning. And any time you see Uru talking in a church, he's the one you start with. Oh, in fact, you can see Uru now. He has a big stomach. He's fat. <laughs> he's eating the things he stole from Kenyans. <laughs> you can see now his family is the don't, one which has... Go that way. You know, his family is the one which has been running a, a, a cartel of uh, milk. Yeah. The family is running a cartel. Uh. It doesn't help any, anything. <laughs> Let us fix the issues okay. that are affecting our yeah. country yeah. with or 